How fast do they go? No more than 60. 60? Mm -hmm. Kilometers or miles? Kilometers. Uh -huh. <laughs> miles. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna fly, huh? In early December, my wife and I hopped a boat and set sail for warmer climates, saying goodbye to the cold and foggy weather of Texas for a while. After two full days at sea, we landed on the balmy western shore of Cozumel Island, Mexico. We only had eight hours allotted to us, so we grabbed the first cab we saw and took it into town to rent some scooters. Our plan was to circumnavigate the accessible part of the island. How fast do they go? No more than 60. 60? Mm -hmm. Kilometers or miles? Kilometers. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you want to fly, huh? Let's move you to that, we'll get Oh, maybe later on. Okay, will you come back? Okay. Okay. All right, folks, I promised you something exotic, and here we are in the beautiful island of Cozumel. We are doing a loop right now. Look at this. Note how calm the waters are on this side of the island. As it turns out that 60 kilometers per hour was more of an admonishment for me than the limit of the scooter, I found myself easily going 70 and 75 kilometers per hour. A few kilometers past our boat dock, we veered off the Quintana Roo State Highway C1 onto the coastal highway that roughly paralleled the C1. This road would take us through long green tunnels, but would occasionally dip down and allow some views of the Caribbean. There's a C1 right now, and it won't be long before we're going up the east side of the island. Driving up the east coast gave us our best views of the Caribbean Sea. There's nothing on this side of the island to dampen the wind and waves, and you can see why the ships would dock on the westerly side. It was about right here where the views were too beautiful to resist and we pulled over to take in the view. As it turned out, this stop was a lucky break because we spotted something that we'd been on the lookout for on this side of the island. We stopped to get a closer look even though I knew the tide was starting to come in. I was cognizant of the fact that the next wave could bring three or four feet of water and scrub my body up against the rocks. So I tried not to tarry too long. Isn't that fun stuff to walk on? This is the most exposed part of the island that we've driven on so far and we can even feel the ocean spray on our faces.
we pulled over at a storm damaged restaurant just to see what was going on because there were a lot of cars parked around. This looked like this could have been quite a hopping place in its heyday and I don't know why the owner wouldn't rebuild. Later on, I did a search on Google Maps to see if I could find out what this place looked like, and I found this old frame. It's a surfing class. Come to Cozumel and learn how to surf. There you go. And they're beautiful. I always love the things. It was about right here where we hopped on the C1 and started looking for a restaurant. Around this corner, we spotted the El Pescador restaurant and pulled over. Turns out they were closed. Let's get out of here. This turned out to be another lucky break for us though. If El Pescador's had been open, we wouldn't have stopped at Coconuts. We each had a beer and a couple of tacos. Then we enjoyed the view from their overlook. We highly recommend this place. After lunch, it was time to head back into town, finish the loop and get closer to our boat. I would say it's just a shadow of its former self. What do you think? I mean, a uh, shadow, but this, you can definitely tell there's a lot less tourists out. It's good to see some of the old things you're familiar with that are still here. But I know, like Bubba Gums, that's fine. So some places did not make it. Wet well, Willie's here, though. Wet well, Willie's is here. Or Wendy. Wet Wendy. <laughs> so, Sandra. Everybody told us if we rented scooters in Mexico, we would die. What do you say? I say the people who say that have never ridden motorcycles before. They're drinking. Those waves can kill you. And taxis will kill you. There. So, safe, except for those seven or eight. Three things. Three things. Yeah. 
you're fine. Do you don't think you can do it if you've never ridden a motorcycle or scooter? Because they don't require a motorcycle license, just a driver's license. But um, yeah, if you haven't had any experience, it can be kind of dangerous. Time to get back to the boat. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next adventure.